Hey guys, so this is actually, we're, um, we're a lady show on a uh, music television, and this, you guys are my first um, males that I've ever interviewed, ever. Oh, well. Feeling pretty nervous. <laughs> you guys got any pointers for me? Um, remember to um, talk to them in the eyes. Yep. Don't look at their chest. Okay. Uh, for me talking to you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also um, offer them a drink and just ask them questions and stuff and see what they're going to say. Okay. So I'll ask you a few questions? Yeah. Right. Excellent. Um, so are you guys excited about being in New Zealand? Yeah, I am. It's my first time here. First time here? Yeah. Excellent. And how many interviews have you had to do today? Um, seven. Ten. Ten? No. Uh, four. 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 Sorry, it feels like a lot, but we're still hanging in there. We might just get you to introduce yourselves. Yeah, I'm um, Craig. I'm Hamish. I'm Ryan. Right, and your drums? Yeah. Singing? Guitar. Guitar. Great, excellent. So you guys have made three albums, and you've yeah. got the fourth one that's going to be a 2007 release? Yeah, right? yeah. Great. And you're going to the studio in February, is that right? Oh, uh, and we pushed it back a few months, so it's going to be... Probably April? A April. April, yeah. Right. So, yeah, thanks. I'm, yeah. I'm so glad you're interested in it. And, and Easter I've album. been thinking a lot about it and I, I can't <laughs> believe it. It's just all in my head now. But it's all the songs? Right? Um, yeah, a lot of it is. I mean, we've demoed some stuff, but I mean, I can't believe we're sitting here talking about it. And what have you been, what have you been talking about? <laughs> the new songs, you're interested in them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's sort of, isn't it the idea? <laughs> That we're interested in things that are coming up? Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're very looking forward to the album and we can't wait to release it and, and record it. And since you're up to your fourth album, has, has it been quite a progression? Like, are you feeling like this fourth album is going to be really different from the first? Or? Um, yes, yeah, more sophistication, yeah. uh, more involved lyrically, uh, just uh, more different instruments. Uh, Stuff we haven't done before, we want to try. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys are Australian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually half Australian. I should put that off the record because no one will ever talk to me. In New Zealand. But, um, yes, oh, which half? Um, the <laughs> m mother's half. Mother from Melbourne. Yeah. I'm half drunk. You're half drunk. Oh, excellent. <laughs> no, totally. Which half? To totally drunk. <laughs> Fully drunk. It's my first drink. <laughs> Do you guys live in Australia or are you overseas? No, in Australia. Sy yeah. Sydney based, yeah. But have you had to? Have you been recording overseas a lot, or living overseas a lot, or? The first couple of years we did. I think we were in. We were based in LA for nearly six months or something. Was it that long? Yeah, we there for a while. Because I was reading um, the first album. Because a lot of bands in Down Under, they usually can get to UK, but getting on the US charts is kind of that you know next step. And you guys did it. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> we worked hard and we were lucky. We had good timing and we had good managers and yeah. um, it, we, it was our own creation, the bands, and we're just lucky that we had people who believed in it to mm. help us put it out to a lot of people on a major label because that's what we wanted was a major deal because that means more people and can hear it. So, mm. yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, the, the president of Capital in the States was a big fan of ours, which is why he signed us up and, yeah. Got us on the front of Rolling Stone and everything yeah. else. Well, I mean, we got ourselves on the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure some strings were pulled there somewhere. <laughs> and I was talking to Peaches today, and she was working with a producer that worked with Beck, and you guys have worked with some uh, Rob Snap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was one of the reasons why we wanted to do it because it was Mellow Gold. Yeah. I think his first album, and uh, he was one of the producers that worked on it, and so that was very exciting for us because Beck was a really big influence on us and someone we really admired yeah interesting recording too excellent yeah so with your fan base is it predominantly women or is it both are you guys are you rock gods no way <laughs> no just new kids on the block yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> step by step yeah no like i'm i meant like just we're just normal like um I'm a bit of a psychopath, but um, <laughs> they put up with me, and yeah. <laughs> it's been great. No, yeah, we're not rock. We we don't not into any of that stuff, and I mean, yeah, yeah. Because we're at our show. It's it's a lady show, but um, we've got men and women, lads and ladies, or our viewers. Okay. We've got um. Actually, Eddie, I've done a quick um, whip uh, around of female. You've got a lot of female fans, well. I must say, and we've got some like quite 
um, woman orientated questions that they really want to ask you okay. because so, they think you're really hot. Well, so, so we're gonna we're gonna put yeah, this to you. Yeah. Should we give one 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 like each? You? Okay. I think we'll start with Craig. You can do the first one. If you were trying to impress a girl, it's like a dating show. It's yeah. yeah. Okay. What would you do with her on a date? I uh, I'd probably start out with with an, uh, a Turkish snow cone, and then probably I don't know finish up with a. Mud pretzel. Oh. Oh. Did, did it work for you? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Sounds a bit scary. <laughs> Trust me, you do not want to know how fucking sick we are. <laughs> Sorry. I okay, well, Hamish, Hamish, Hamish. <laughs> number, number, number two. What are the most attractive qualities in a woman? Uh, aside from the obvious ones, I think uh, intelligence. No, what, so what are the obvious ones? What are... I like girls that are tall. But um, no, I think the most attractive quality that will uh, keep me interested for more than a short period of time is someone who's intelligent, really. So you can actually have a conversation with them. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay, you ready for number three? Would you approve of a female president of America? Yeah, I would. I'm really backing um, Hillary, actually. Not Condi. Not. Hillary good, Condi bad. Yeah, I would love that. Oh, great. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I actually had this conversation not long ago. But yeah. It's quite, a, um, I say it's quite an interesting fan base that you have that they want to um, know your political opinion. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. yeah. Start, especially yeah. in American politics. That's right. Mm. Okay. Um, who wants number four? <laughs> Me. Okay, Craig, Craig, Craig. What is your recipe for romance? Um, it's similar to number one. It's quite similar, but... Step no, one. I think it, I think Cut a hole in the box. Yeah, just like recipe. <laughs> Maybe this Step is more two. like... Well, I just want to let the ladies know that I brushed my teeth for the first time this year today <laughs> when I got to the hotel. Do you know there are a lot of guys that just forget to brush their teeth? I don't like doing it. I don't like drinking water either. So I like drink soda and smoke cigarettes, and that's what is... Teeth are going to fall out and die. Is this die. actually your recipe for romance? Yeah. Well, I brush my teeth. So that's what he's saying. Oh, okay. He has brushed his teeth. Right. And then I'm just reinforcing my rock and roll image by saying that I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> couldn't give a fuck. Wow, that yeah. is really sexy. Yeah. yeah. That's a great No, I'm not trying to impress anyone. <laughs> Trust me, I'm just thinking about the next album. I'm a bit drunk, we're doing the tour, so we'll, yeah. be, we'll be acting like clowns, but like... When it gets down to it, it's going to be some serious music. That recipe was awesome. It was only one, one step. One it was great. Step, yeah. I liked it. Yeah, well, I brushed my teeth. And yeah. what, what more do you want from me? Oh, that's all. That's all. Okay, this is for all of you, I think. Yeah. Are you a tits, legs, or ass man? Yeah. Uh, legs are good. Legs are pretty handy, eh? Yeah, yeah. they are handy. Yeah. And they're joined to the ass, which evidently ends up at the tits. You, you just did three in one. Yeah. That was very clever. Craig, tits, legs, or ass? Um. <laughs> yeah. two choices. All oh, right, what? Tits, do you like? Which Which is your preference? Oh, I've gone all shy. Oh. <laughs> the first one. Oh. Oh. Breasts. We'll say breasts, oh, yeah. yeah. What? What? <laughs> Hamish, tits, legs, or ass? I mean, you've got to have all three, really, yeah. for the complete package. You've only got one choice. He's yeah. snuck in. Oh, I have to choose different. one? Yeah. Ass. Ass. That's different. It's quite good, because then the woman can actually work to get a nice ass, you know. You can go to the gym and... Yeah, yeah. But that's nice, because depending on... We've got basically the... legs, yeah. essentially. Tits, good on you. Yeah. And ass. We have tits, legs, and ass. <laughs> Great. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, well, thank you so much, guys. That's okay, thank okay. you. I hope you have a really great time in New Zealand. It's very short, but have a great gig tomorrow. I'll be there. Excellent. And um, then you've got Australia, eh? Yeah. yeah. Say hi to the ladies for us. <laughs> we will. <laughs> thank you. Oh, One former lady, I. <laughs>